All right, stream's working out. Let's see, microphone. Microphone works. Cool. Hopefully this game's not too dark. Running it on a PS3, so... Like, we got Whisker's face in the middle there. That's pretty funny. So, the X version... I don't think is that much different from the uh, Dreamcast version. Like, fundamentally, I think it might have better lighting. It's, it, this is basically a port of the PS2 version of the game. Alright, let's get into it, though. I don't think there's much options. Monitor tuning. Oh, that's just... Okay, screen settings. Not much there. Yeah, it's not much in terms of settings. So... This PS3 port... I don't think it's, um... It's definitely a port of the PS2 game. And what they did was they added widescreen. What's up, Nocturne? How you doing? But other than that, it's like identical to the PS2, just like higher res. New game. Resident Evil. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Why is that in quotes? Claire Red. That like supposed to be sarcastic. Search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer Leon S. Kennedy managed to escape from the city, but their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Multiple remakes, except this game for some reason. Three months later. And I remember when, when I got this game on the Dreamcast, I was so hyped. This was like one of the killer apps. It's like, oh man, the Dreamcast is getting a Resident Evil. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. What's up, Nevercocker? How you doing? Now, when did this come out? Like, right around, uh, like, 1999, I think. 99 or 2000, during that, like, Matrix slow motion craze. You can tell, huh? Start your big action adventure, your FMV. Are oh, you getting ready for Spooktober? I'm gonna try to play some horror games. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay, here's this classic Claire Redfield maneuver. You guys ready for this? this is it. Look, see, she's like, I surrender. Then it's like, oh, psych out, and then she just blows him up. Why wasn't that in any of the movies, huh? Wes Anderson. <laughs> Don't move. That stuff needs to be evil stopped. All right, I'll try to stop some evil. I don't think I'll get to the evil yet. See what what 
what weirds me out about this game is that like you get that cool intro and stuff you know it's all cgi and everything all actiony probably the most action-packed intro in resident evil up to that point and then what it starts you out in is this boring ass prison cell and then you kind of wander like these boring ass um like cemetery lots Which is kind of underwhelming, because there is some cool-looking stuff in this game and some neat environments that do happen, but I felt like they should have opened with something cooler than this, like, little Metal Gear prison cell thing. Also, this game is dark as fuck. I might have to turn up the gamma on it. I don't even know if I can, being that it's, a, you know, on the PS3. I had a lighter, I could see him. No, I mean, it's supposed to be dark right now. You're not really supposed to see this guy too well. You're only supposed to make him out a little bit. He somehow has the playing manual. That's a little meta. Yeah, I, they didn't change the 2D assets. They just kind of shrunk them down for the menu. They didn't blow them up or anything. So that, uh, now they're, like, really small. I like how she, she has that little symbol that's on her jacket that's just there randomly on the hood. Oh! The guy, who would have thought? With the mustache. This is also in the voice acting in Resident Evil. I mean, it got better in Resident Evil 2, but I think this is when they kind of like... This is the peak of classic Resident Evil. Perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. I'm gonna turn into a zombie. Okay then. Yeah, so I like how you can just turn in place. That's awesome. Yeah, she still makes some foot foot noises. She's like a wizard. Okay, but like what was neat about this game is like especially when you first played it on the Dreamcast is that this was the first 3D Resident Evil. You know, and when I say that I mean like the environments are 3D. Like this isn't like the camera can now move around a little bit, it doesn't have to be like static and stuff. But it'll still do the camera angle stuff. The shadow stuff was pretty cool, too, for back in the day. But like I said, this is like the PS2 port, so it has better lighting going on than the Dreamcast version. We should also, I mean, we're definitely... We should have a better frame rate. Not like the Dreamcast version was sluggish. Alright, so what button? A square. A square. Whoop, let me just do this. There we go. <laughs> Empty. Got a hose. Oh, we gotta go get medicine, I suppose. Luckily, though, there's this big fucking knife. I'm not gonna equip it because then I can't see anything. Yeah, and and like it's not just the shadows and the lighting because they do use that. They when they went 3D, they were like, "All right, what is the stuff we couldn't do in the pre-rendered stuff?" And a lot of that was like, you know, different camera angle movements, stuff like that, like under the stairs scenes, things like that going on. So they'll start doing that a lot more. Rodrigo, is that your name, Rodrigo? And, like, that's kind of cool and all, like, seeing the lighter effects, but at the same time, it's a really boring-ass room. You know, when the first game was a mansion and the second game was this really cool, um, I like the bugs, that's a nice touch. The second game was, like, the police and the, and the city. So you, you kind of expect a little bit more, but I guess they wanted to go with... Th this one has kind of an evil base feel. Like, I'm on... I, do I even need this? Unless I'm gonna save right now, so no. I can leave that right there. 
Okay, so the action button is X, so it's the opposite of what I've been used to in the PC versions. So that's great. But I, but at the same time, maybe this is how it was. On the on the PlayStation. It's just odd that the control scheme changes when you're on PlayStation or when you're on like Xbox. I don't know why. Very buggy. Oh, what's up, Paziata? Oh, bro, 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 bro. Fuck it, look at this. Truck used for transport. Oil is leaking from the crash wreck. Dead body. So how, how is the brightness for you guys? Is it like, is it like really bad? Cause it's weird on, on, on one screen it looks okay. But like when I look over here, it looks like really dark. I don't know, let me look. Is there a gamma that I can like do? I think I can. Materials, this returns to the game. I guess I'll find- Oh my god! Oh, briefcase. And a zombie. The other option I think I could play the Dreamcast version and use S-Video. It won't have any of the uh, X stuff in it, which... I think, I think the X stuff is like just minor items. Like, um, also makes the game a little bit easier on the Chris side. Oh, naked zombies! So the question is, am I, I guess I can't make it to that chest because of all the fire, so we're gonna go th this way. What's up, dead guy? Ah! Also, this was like still at that time when every character had to have an annoying blonde Leonardo DiCaprio like character. Is it they already didn't have Leon? Where? Where? Wait, wait. Don't you? Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Goody. Sounds like he just uh, shit himself. Sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another <laughs> one of those mon- Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot! Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. I was My sorry. Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. <laughs> yeah, hey, take care. Up. That was a random thought. I don't want you following me, lady. I have no guns and you you'll have only one. Slow me down. So clearly, you'll only slow me down. I was like, that guy was very strange. At least I have a handgun now. Oh man, this menu's gonna get me killed. I swear. Okay, so... Right, but how do I get in the menu? No, that's the map. I'll do... Wait, is it start? That's fucking weird. What? Usually it's like a face button. Alright, well we got the pistol equipped. It's a weird looking pistol. Damn it, Claire. Look, we got some nice data there, like she's five foot five. How do I there we go? 
There's no 3D. Oh, it is a 3D model. Ooh. Oh, it's Italian. See, that's why it's that's why it's all sleek and shit with the whatever's going on with that. I reload this. No, fuck. Well, at least I know how to shoot it. You rotate around here. Ain't nothing there. Select button. Oh, here we go. We can go into this. Oh, so they want me... I have to adjust the monitor itself. Other than that, there's... Yeah, there's no way I can turn up the brightness at all. This is... This is it. Or at least not from the source. Like, I could... I could do some stuff in OBS. 45 bullets, wow. That's where I came from. I don't think I can go there yet, but I think I can go here. <laughs> it's, it still weirds me out, like, why does the run and the action button always have to change between games? Like, why can't it just stay the same? It really messes with your muscle memory. Oh god. No, you aimed at the wrong one. Now we're screwed. Now they can do the dangling light thing now. Be another zombie around here somewhere, though, so gotta watch out. Like, kind of a mess hall, <coughs> break room. Nope, don't want to go there. Place was disgusting before the outbreak. Oh, this is their do dormitory. Read one of their diaries. What, what is she looking at? Is got the bugs? I'm trying to get this book. There we go. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I've found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Oh, these guys are prisoners! <coughs> <coughs> Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. Is that code for something? May 16th. Today, Bob told some crazy story of why he was put put this place with me. Why he was put this place with me. Okay. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. <laughs> what does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th, without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. There's a fucking guillotine stand? <clears throat> At midnight, I sneak out of here to see, to see him. And hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. May 21st. I was wrong. I wouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. And then, then it happened. Oh wait. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we are all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. 
What am I going to do? Oh, that sucks. Sucks for that guy, huh? Yep. Why is this fucker under his bunk? What the hell is that all about? Look at that guy. Keep on knocking, but you can't- oh, you can't come in. Fine. Oh, you got guns, though. Look at that. He's got- he dropped him. It's good- man, it's gonna be a while before I, like, get used to these fucking controls. I mean, they're the same controls. Oh, good. It's just the buttons are different. I think... Yeah, I think I'm good. His guns glow. Okay, so you can quick turn in this. They take up two spots. You can never reload them, so... The fuck? I thought I killed everyone in here. Man, that light must have been annoying. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, okay. Just the kitchen. Oh, whoa, this looks important. What were they cooking? They didn't finish their soup! So, I guess the prisoners just made, like, sat around and ate soup until they went to that building. And it doesn't look like there's any labor to do. Grab this herb. <laughs> Maybe they were growing herbs. But in the Dreamcast version, you had, like, the little VGA on the Dreamcast. Oh, I'm still fine. Look out. But you can always check your health, but not here. Little camera angle stuff going on here. It's like, yeah, we couldn't do this before. Ah, uh, those crafty sliding bodies. The rain's also a nice touch, too. It's pretty nice. I think, has it been raining this whole time or just since I've gotten here? I think it only rains in this one spot. Uh, oh my god, he still got to me. At least Claire can take a hit. Like she's still... yeah, she's still green. Oh, is that the guillotine? That is the guillotine over there. Oh, still alive. I think he's dead. Oh damn. Gotta go release the lock. I'm like, nope, there's no way I can go in there. Oh, 
Oh, this is the part where Please it's like... Please deposit any metallic items you have You gotta put all the metals box. here. So that means all your guns. Can't have this. I uh, might as well get rid of the player manual. Oh. Right, but how do I get back to the item? It won't let me, like, select another item. Okay, there we go. I guess the lighter, the lighter needs to go. The knife, obviously. Gun. Bullets. I don't think the herb, but let's see. No, okay, we're good. I can't use any of these items yet. I gotta deposit them. I guess I could use this first aid spray, but I really don't need to. I got like a notebook. User manual. It's a 3D printer. A new product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. The 3D and the duplicator part. This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The scan object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. Duplicator portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. Conversion will be executed with the complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. Alright, now to make my bootleg. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure line. Oh, someone's typing. Fax on the facility access. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for present area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grisham. Oh my god. Purpose of entry. Carrying in the following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries. TG01. Various delayed commodities ordered by the president. Is TG01 liquid metal? Are they making the T1000? No, we'll use a transportation truck. TG01 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Oh, is that what's like in the fire? I have to go get what's in the fire here. Let's see who's on the computer. Oh shit! Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield. I've got a shotgun. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. I was being hey, sarcastic. I was just kidding. Wait, what? He really was? There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. He was in the Air Force, so that means no magically way. he can. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. Okay, fine. Thanks, you motherfucker. What was that all about? I don't know. We'll go check out his MySpace later. Got this high-tech computer here, and then we got this typewriter. This ancient fucking typewriter. <laughs> Not even like a current typewriter. Oh, look out. The hawk emblem. I, I, was, I wanted to see the clipboard, though. The clipboard looks like I could read it, but I guess not. I guess I emailed Leon.
I might as well save, it's been a while. Why was he fucking with this thing? Hmm. Hopefully that released the shutter. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Okay, hold on. So, gotta get rid of the ink ribbon. I think the hawk emblem is metallic. So, what I gotta do is 3D print out that hawk emblem. Using that material that I think does not set off the um, metal detector. turn up the volume a little bit. I turned it down slightly, but... There we go. Okay. <laughs> Someone found an item chest. Now I can open the shutter. Okay, so that's a destructible uh, barrel, I believe. I don't know if I can get to it in time. So the, yeah, so the gimmick here was that you had destructible barrels, which I didn't really use right there. And when, and you could dual wield weapons, so you could have two weapons. And when you had two weapons, they would, you could have them like individually aim each gun, like, you know, track different zombies with each hand. Why is this zombie like not attacking me? He's over here, right? There he is, okay. There we go. Now I can get what's in the fire. They definitely added a lot more changes to this game than they did with Resident Evil 3. Fuck, it's good. Guillotine. But too bad Claire can't use a lockpick. Yeah. 
At least she takes pretty good damage, though. She's like her brother in that sense. Oh, now there are zombies here? Ah! Upper. I'll have to use those dual guns. I only have 12 handgun shots left. This was the style at the time was dual weapons. Yeah, see how she can like point them at two different two different zombies? I think there's a way I can switch it though. Yeah, I can switch it to like either have them concentrate or fire or like target two. Get up. There we go. Oh, good. The TGO one. Thank you for your continued support and for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy TG-01. It's just not made out of metal. Pretty much it. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Cannot be pictured by... Roten... No... R r you know, that kind of shit. At the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable, so we can now, like, sneak weapons in the airport. We plan to develop various new weapons utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Metal Industries. Okay. Carl Redhill. It was the chief development planning. I gotta find a place to dump some of these items. I still have the fire extinguisher, so I guess I use the empty extinguisher for something. That's why I need the hawk. Okay, so need to make a clone of the hawk emblem using the metal at the metal detector place. Put it there, and then I can just, I can like go. Just gotta get lucky that yeah shit that the one that's like right in front of me is not like. Holds me up too much. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box.
What? What? What set it off? Turns out that metal is total bullshit. It does set off uh, Please alarms. Any metallic oh, it's the lighter. In the security I didn't box. put the lighter in there. Start okay, so I guess use this. Oh, I had to wait for that to happen. Okay, now I should be able to. Does it all with one drill bit? Okay, now I can open the gate. Oh, they're breaking through. this part I just feel like this could have been done faster like a way to go through the inventory quicker so you don't have to like have to do that every time but you know I also feel like that should have been midpoint in the game then again I'm having trouble with run and action. I'm also wondering if I should kill these dogs. Would it be better? Like, am I gonna keep getting hit every time I go through here? That's what the padlock key's for. Alright, I got past that one. Now that's not a big deal, because now I just make a right, so I don't really have to kill the dogs. Can't really clear out zombies, huh? Oh fuck, well... Damn it! From what I remember, this next area is a little bit more impressive. It just looks better. The whole base area is kind of boring. 
but it's weird that they start off with that. I guess plot-wise it makes sense, because, you know, you're captured and whatever. But I guess Umbrella just likes to build goofy mansions around all their bases. Oh, we get, hey, there's handgun bullets. push it that much. It's over here. Oh, that's how I got it. Okay. Weird, you still gotta press a button to climb the stairs. So, I can't really clear out zombies, at least outside. So I don't even know if it's a good idea to even, like, attack them. Faster things in here, probably, yep. was this dog? <laughs> oh my god, just die! Come on! There, yeah, finally. Right, I'm out of bullets. Looks like that shotgun shell's up there. Am I supposed to climb this barrel to get it? Take the bowgun arrows. No, not really. Until I have a bowgun, there's no reason to do that. His hat fell off, that was neat. Yeah, see, now we're getting into more of that, like, uh, architecture that we know Umbrella from. Oh god. And dogs.
along with the goofy emblem puzzles that we always have to deal with. I don't think there's anything down there. Not yet. There might be a save box. There's like bowgun ammo, there's this thing. Well, handgun bullets and a map. The palace map. much there. I almost feel like the game doesn't really begin until you get here anyways. This one it turns into more traditional Resident Evil. Let me get this herb. And it got me the yellow. Now I'm in a spooky mansion. I gotta go across the desk. So, like, uh, you could tell they were really like trying to do the shadow stuff a lot. It's like, oh, now we'll put a shadow here, you know, with like the colored lighting and things. Bats. Oh god, they could actually kill me, too. Wait, there was first aid over there, too. God damn, I can't carry any more items. What am I supposed to do, then? I can't even consume a health item. We gotta find a, um... Okay, I think I know where there is a... Uh, box and a save room. I think it's on the second floor. Because I really need to dump that knife, some other items. Let's get rid of the manual. We don't need that. We don't need the knife. I don't need that just yet. I don't know if we upgrade our weapons in this game. That might be a Resident Evil 3 thing, not necessarily a Code Veronica thing. Hard. Gotta put two gold guns in there. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? I don't know, probably because you just did three sentences with exclamation points. They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia. 
whose extreme beauty is often talked about. <laughs> this guy, this extreme <laughs> writing. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. I ask about her again. I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dorson. I don't know, maybe he's boinking his sister, who knows. Never know. Weirder shit's happened. Now we're fine. See, supposedly in this game we learn more of the origins of Umbrella. Because I think Alfred and Alexia, they're like, um... They're like descendants of the uh, founders of Umbrella. I gotta check that ID card. Some, some loser. CO 394. Do I have to really remember that? Oh god, that sucks. Well. Can't open gun doors, so. I can go into the bathroom now and get the briefcase and the first aid spray. This is like a hotel or a guest quarters to check in. This isn't like the main mansion area, because obviously that's where his sister was. Oh, fucking bats. Yeah, grab it. Grab it. I mean, I guess if you equip the knife, the bats aren't a problem, but then you have to have the knife in your inventory. That doesn't hurt me too bad. Well, it requires a key. Or a lockpick. I didn't know Clara was also the master of unlocking. Electronically locked, alright. Let me look at this ID one more time. I seriously have to flip it over. NTC 0394. Just the number? It's just the number, then it's 0394. Fuck. What was it, NTC? Music's very soap opera. Very relaxing in these kind of like non-tense areas. But yeah, it, it's because it relies on that piano so much. I think it was that. Could be wrong. Unless that's not a zero and that's an O. Oh, good. I haven't even checked the second part, the second floor on the left yet. Still just checking, like, this part. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's great that the pot has a floral design. I want to see the bullets. 
Hey, that. Right, now reload. Damn it. Yeah, what's, what's the health looking? Eh. When it gets to red, I'll use the first aid. First aid, like, heals you all the way. I'm just wondering, like, um, hmm. weird. It just looks darker in the capture, but it should be the exact same picture I'm seeing too. So I don't know. I guess I won't know until I like look at the look at the vod. All right. So he's got some toy tanks. Guess who doesn't? And um. Bunch of guns. Not a whole bunch, you know, just enough. Now, you don't want too many. Along with your, like, World War II plane and U-boat. And Let's see. Everybody dies, so... Oh, no. oh, it's that lovely memory of when Alfred and his fucking weirdest fuck twin sister were, were, like, ripping apart a dragonfly's wing and watching an ant eat it or something. Because they were sick fucks like that. And they were rich, so no one gave a fuck. The editing's quite amazing, yet the film quality's awful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like getting the camera in those angles and shit. But yet it's all scratchy and stuff too. It's like that's not a home movie. They didn't just mount a tripod. Someone had to film that and edit it. I'm sorry, I don't buy the illusion. That's like in, um, what's it called? What, what was it? Star Trek 3, where they go back to where, um, Spock mind melds with McCoy, and it's, like, perfectly edited and stuff, and it's just footage from Star Trek 2. Oh, he, oh, he has another room where he keeps the rest of his guns and his steering wheel. Was this the gold guns? Lugers. Oh, I can't just put the Lugers. Maybe I have to switch them with the other double guns? Oh, I'm dying. Oh, no, there's nothing I can do here. Well, they have no bullets anyways. You were behind the camera angle. I think cool, bro. I got this, but I don't have a means of opening it. I got the steering wheel, but I don't think that's useful. 
like in the in the in the palace or whatever, wherever the fuck I am. Then where else would I go? That door's locked. That door is locked. Well, there's still the second floor. I haven't investigated, like, all of that yet, unless the door on the second floor is locked, then... I guess I go down, uh, the steps and use the steering wheel and see what the fuck that does. I keep feeling like I can open this, like, closet thing. No, doesn't look like it. solves all that. So to recap, I take the thing, but then the dual guns... If I take the dual guns, um... something happens and then the computer opens up. I'm guessing I need someone to be outside, or somebody to take the guns while I'm yeah! outside. Help me! No! Steve? Help me here now, Steve. He just gets the hell out of there. God, I hope you're in the gold gun room. So the voice actor that was playing Steve, I assume that they, they set him aside was like, try to make him sound like the biggest weenie you can possibly make a man sound like. He's like, okay, I'll try. Oh shit, he's in the thing. All right. Steve is suffering. Well, he makes all of us suffer. Oh god, there's a big dumbass puzzle, isn't there? My anger will subside when two pairs complete. Sure. Uh... That's the only one with the switch was was the bug. Does it mean these two guns? Well, these are also two pairs. I must save Steve. Okay, fine. Those are the only two pairs I know. Oh, there we go. Huh. That was too close. That was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. My manhood. Looks cool, huh? Pretty neat, oh, eh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Right, I have no bullets Fine. for him. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. Oh, I gotta give him the fully auto guns, son of a bitch. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, where, where do I meet up to make the trade? Fucker. Am I supposed to summon him with the Steve signal? Do I just wait for him to go? Yeah! again and then like find him give him, give him my guns Man, I'm so glad Steve is not another Resident Evil <laughs> he blows oh shit look out someone's trying to entertain their cat I bet you he has a really lame voice you interfere with my operation what are you talking about you let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base! I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me! I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? I'm the commander! You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! How dare you! 
The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inn. Pretty cool, huh? Look at me flex. While you were learning now, but to wipe your ass, I was running the universe with Umbrella. Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. Rich people don't need you to take cover, by the way. They can just location. stand around with a gun. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? Does that laser come right out of his scope? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. Despite all your rage! I'm sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. His <laughs> pull <laughs> That's why he's really mad. He couldn't do really rich white people stuff. All right, well, we got some cutscenes, so I'm guessing we go use the wheel. I was gonna trade the guns with the kid, but I don't know where the kid is, so fuck it. Obviously, I'll get the guns at some point, though, so I can, um, unlock the door in the office. I guess at some point I get a bow gun because I find bow gun ammo. Well, it's a little submarine. Have just built like stairs or an elevator, but no, Umbrella likes to waste as much money as possible. Only the best. Oh, fanny pack, nice. Cutscene? Oh. I guess we made it to a new destination. The underwater base. This, I don't know, this just feels very Dr. Evil. They got this mansion, they got this underwater base. These guys security guards? I think they are. I, man, I wish zombies dropped guns. Or bullets, rather. Oh god. Man, that fish must be bored. There's nothing in that tank. Just that fish and another fish. Looks like an ink ribbon, but why would one be here? No, I don't want to pick it up.
plane. I haven't finished exploring this area yet, though. I didn't think I would go through that. There's an ink ribbon, but there's no, um, typewriter. I don't know what that's all about. Ah! Fucking bats! So I need to find three pendant things to put on it. So I guess that'll be the quest, is find the three things that go there so we can get off the island. Let's see what's over here. Definitely something down there. Oh, the load. Load's too big. Guess I can con control the crane. I can move the load. Looks like the crane controls. Let's do this. Move the lever. easy. How do you miss the control lever? Why even design it so that someone could take out the lever in the first place? Hey, what's up, Ginger Vitus? How you doing? Zombies weren't there a second ago. Oh no, zombie umbrella foreman! Oh no! We're like, we need to go on break. Been watching the dew? What, what, what's that? Oh, you can shoot their little zombie hats off. Their little umbrella hats. Dumbass zombie, he went the wrong way. Oh, he's a YouTuber, okay. Look at him. Oh shit, this guy's still alive. Just have to reload, there we go. Oh fuck, I'm out of bullets. Oh, 
Oh, I'm fucked now. I can't hit him with the briefcase. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, he's a guitarist? Okay. I might have seen him, like, been recommended. Okay, I got bowgun ammo, but that's not gonna do shit. Military training facility. You mean that one building that's all the way, like, in the beginning of the game? It's like he's a magnet. Are oh, you going to bed? Alright, Ginger Vitus, you have a good one. I gotta end the stream in like 20 minutes or so. Because I gotta take off. Okay, wait. There's a door up there, right? Did I try that door? Let's... Oh, at 5.30? Yikes. Oh yeah, that's the- there's a broken lever. That was the broken lever bit. Alright, so I got this military training card. The silver one. I think. Yeah, I think that's like at the very beginning of the game. One of those, like, military bases. I'm trying to think of, like, what was locked. Either that or it's in the mansion, which I can think of some places that were locked. Or in palace or whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck that, like, little hotel area thing is. I can't get up the ladder. Come on. No, don't go around it. Oh my god. Just... There we go. Beautiful. Perfect docking procedure. Hey, what's up, Cyril Ross? Yeah, I know I haven't been streaming as much. I I'm trying, man. <laughs> Just trying to get back in the groove. Stop by. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try it out here, even though I, I don't think this is the military facility, but there were the- I know about these two locked doors. Cause I'm trying to think about locked doors in the military facility, and I can't think of any. But there was, like, one that was silver. Oh, it was this one. Never mind, that was what I thought it was. I 
These require like keys. Well, I guess first things first, get the guns so I have some ammo. for that, like, briefcase. Put it there. I don't need this, because I don't have the bow gun. I'll, maybe I should keep the pistol on me, because I might find, like, ammunition for it. I'm gonna save. guys i gotta start getting ready to go but thanks everyone for hanging out i'll try to play more of this i'm gonna see if i can make it brighter though because it's like it does seem a little bit on the dark side but maybe that's just like the monitors maybe there's something going on with like the capture okay because it was kind of a pain to get the ps3 to kind of capture and work even though you think you just use hdmi but no it has some kind of copyright but yeah thanks everyone for joining me thanks for hanging out and hopefully I'll see you guys more frequently. I'll try to stream more, uh, you know, when I got the time and the energy, so. And uh, hopefully if this looks all right, I'll stream more of this. This and like Shinmu, probably what's gonna be going on. All right guys, have a go.